I'm at a secret location in southern Tasmania, which is home to the state's largest medicinal cannabis production facility. The majority of plants are kept in greenhouses under 168 LED lights. This new one hectare greenhouse will allow a huge growth in cultivation. It'll be about 3,500 kilograms of dried flower uh, in the greenhouse and then next summer we're hoping to grow about 1.8 tonnes of dried flower uh, outside. Tasmania is seen as an ideal location to grow medicinal cannabis due to its dry and cooler climate. It's a huge advantage that we have to use less chemicals and we don't have to use any sort of pesticides or anything like that. Another massive advantage of having a medicinal cannabis facility in Tasmania is the cost. They don't have to pay for air conditioners to decrease humidity and also heat. Medicinal cannabis is legal in Tasmania, but you must have a script from your GP. The state's health department says since 2021, more than 1,500 Tasmanians have accessed medical cannabis products. I've got people from age 5 to 100 on it. But it's not covered under the PBS. It's very misunderstood, that addictiveness profile. When you compare it to things like alcohol, smoking, a lot of opioids, um, its addictiveness levels are dramatically lower. She says there should be better education on its benefits and uses. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.